A floral wreath hangs outside the home 17-year-old Jalen Neal left behind. His death still too fresh for his mother to bear. I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. Over the weekend, the teen drowned at the old Salem campground at Lake Oconee. The family was there to celebrate the teen's mother's release from jail two days earlier. This is one of the last pictures of Jalen taken at the lake before family says he went under two times, then never resurfaced. His stepsister tried to save him. When I got to him, he wasn't moving. And, and when I'm trying to pull him by his shorts, it wasn't working, so I had to grab him by his hair. Once on the beach, family says they attempted CPR. He was blowing in his mouth and he was throwing up. The teen, who aspired to go into the Air Force, never regained consciousness. His drowning marks the second at Lake Oconee this year and the 23rd drowning overall in a natural body of water. Family says he could swim and believes something else took him under. I think it, it might be a, a sinkhole because by me, when I went out there, it was hard for me to come back. The Salem campground area is owned by Georgia Power. The company says the swimming areas are checked daily for safety and at least three signs are posted with a warning. No lifeguard, swim at own risk. But Jalen's grandfather believes there should be more safety precautions. If you get to pay to go in there, it should be a lifeguard around regard to what the signs say. I mean, these children getting drowned, not no grown people cheering. Now, in a statement, Georgia Power said in part that safety is their top priority. And as a precaution, as we get deeper into the summer, families should all heed the warnings and take advantage of life jackets when they're available, Vinny.